Hi, I'm Adrienne Chin. I'm an interior designer based in London, England. Today I'm going to talk to you about an aspect of interior design. Today we're going to look at a boy's room. Now, blue is, a, is the traditional color for a boy's room and I'm not going to deviate from that. It works very well. Boys do tend to like blue, so I'm going to go with that. Um, but what I do like to do for children's rooms is to take an idea, a simple theme, but I don't tend to go whole hog and do jungle rooms or uh, circus rooms or things like that. I tend to take a simple theme and, and work it through uh, in a way that is fun for the child and they can bring their own creativity to the room with their toys and things like that. I also do tend to like to put something on the wall, uh, an area of blackboard paint for, for children to be able to play with. They love that idea, so it's just a little tip uh, that works very well whenever I've used it, is put some blackboard paint on a part of the wall. Now in this boy's room, what I've done is I've found a very simple uh, wallpaper with outlines of uh, cars and vans and things like that. So it gives uh, a nice uh, starting point for a boy's room without overwhelming the room. And then what I would probably do is, because it's quite a simple wallpaper, I would probably put that everywhere in the room. Uh, instead of just using it as, a, as an accent uh, wall, although you could use it as an accent wallpaper for one wall. Uh, if you did that, what I would do just to liven it up a bit is perhaps uh, use a toning blue color on the other walls. So just look at a paint palette. You can go into your local uh, DIY, your do-it-yourself place, and they all have paint cards, usually not on a fan, but you can pick them up. And just bring in your wallpaper sample and just see which blues tend to uh, work best with the blue in the wallpaper. I generally get a sample pot, or f uh, two or three, and try them out on the wall to make sure that they tone really well. Or if I don't put them on the wall, I put them on a piece of card so that I can move the card around the room to see how the color works in different lights. Uh, in children's rooms, it's very important to use very wipeable wallpaper or wipeable paint. A lot of manufacturers have special paints now which are uh, meant to be hard-wearing and wipeable for places like kitchens and bathrooms and children's rooms. So always be sure you have a very wipeable material on the walls. Uh, so assuming that we've got this on the walls, I like to have carpets in bedrooms because uh, people are always running around bare feet no matter what age you are and children do tend to uh, play a lot on the floor so it's much nicer if there's a carpet underfoot. This is quite a, a tough woven uh, rug. This is a wool rug. Uh, this would be wall-to-wall -wall carpet and I've chosen a neutral grey so that that can go through years really as the child grows older. It's not something that will date just uh, as the child turns into a teenager. The windows in a child's room are a place where I often like to use a pattern fabric. It gives a bit of uh, liveliness to the room and um, here I've chosen this one which is blue, it's contemporary and what I also liked about it is um, it has this accent lime green which really livens up uh, the blue story that we're working with. So if I had that on some Roman blinds, what I might do is have some white plantation shutters on the windows underneath the blinds, uh, and that would look very nice combined with that. If we have that as your blinds, then what that does with that accent green, it gives us an accent color. So I would bring that color out in some cushions in the room, and then this is just a fun little fabric which relates to the type of motif we've got going on there and it brings out the blue. So I probably use that on some cushions as well. For the bed, if you have an upholstered headboard, uh, what I would probably do is choose something which is a nice stripe. It's neutral in a way. Stripes are, I consider neutrals in a room. You can use them with checks, flowers, planes, so they work very well with just about everything. And it won't date, the bed won't date if you have something like this on it. So if, let's say we have that on the headboard, that would be very nice. And I'd probably just use some simple bedding, white bedding, um, or get something that has a little bit of blue in it. But if you have the white bedding and then you have these cushions on the bedding, you have that as your headboard, you have this as your wall. It is all pulling together because you've got the tones of the blue and your green as your linking accent color. 
And then finally, if you have a little chair or something in the room, a little stool, something like that, I'd pick something fun. This is a little toning fabric, which has the tones of the blue, a little bit of this dark gray, charcoal gray in it, and then the white of the walls. And it just adds a little accent on a stool or a chair in the room. And I think that makes a very functional, attractive boy's bedroom, which will last certainly well into his early teen years. If you want some further information or some ideas about interiors, you might want to have a look at my book, which is called The Home Decorator's Color and Texture Source Book. You can buy that on my website at www.adriannechin.co.uk.